Good morning, everyone. How are you doing, neighbor? I am so glad you stopped by this morning. Today, I want to talk about essential oils. Now, this is going to be peppermint oil. But before I get into the video, if you're new to my channel, I welcome you. And I'd love for you to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. If you're returning, I welcome you back. And also don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell if it's not lit up. At times it goes off, so periodically make sure that that bell is lit up. Now let's get into the video about peppermint oil. Now, first and foremost, I want to say use these oils or this oil only according to manufacturer guidelines. And also check with your doctor to see if this is an oil that you can use and if it is how you can use it peppermint oil is pretty common and it's it's in every marketplace that you go to some people use this for the common cold for aromatherapy they can mix it with coconut oil they may put it on a washcloth when they go into the shower some people use it for headaches. Peppermint is used in flavoring mouthwashes, also in toothpaste. They scent soaps, creams, conditioners, shampoos. You can see a bar of soap right here. Again, this video is not sponsored by anyone, any product that you see in this video, but these two products are very good and I found that Sprouts has great peppermint soap. So I thought I'd put this in here. There are time, times that if you put it in an aromatherapy mister, I call it, if you smell the, the peppermint, it could help you with nausea. You know, not to be so nauseated. Again, check with your doctor to make sure that you can use this type of oil and what you can use it for. Peppermint oil is used uh, for skin and hair. They put it in cosmetic products. It's a mild antimicrobial and bact bacteria and, and fungi. It helps with that, antifungal. It is very concentrated, this oil. This should always be diluted per manufacturer's guidelines. And it can be, I'll caution you this, this more than once, it can be uh, toxic to pets, whether it's dogs, cats, birds, any other type of pet. So please keep it away from your pets. Don't let uh, your pet lick your hand uh, or your face or whatever it might be if you've had this peppermint oil around it. It is an ingredient that's used in different chest rubs, different creams and lotions, I call them in potions. They put peppermint in there for sore muscles and they use it in a carrier liquid. Now a carrier liquid, for example, would be coconut oil. So they mix that up, they put it in a lotion and then you would put it on a sore muscle. If you happen to get an ant bite you can soak a cotton ball and put it in a, in a carrier liquid, like I said, like coconut oil, and very lightly put it over the ant bite. Again, check with your doctor before you do any of these. Also, ants don't like peppermint at all. In my garden and around my homestead, I have a lot of peppermint. If you put it around your home, around the stable, wherever you might put it, ants don't like it. I'm not saying it's a 100% guarantee you won't get fire ants or any other type of ant, but they don't like peppermint. I guess they don't like the smell. In fact, I've read that most bugs don't like peppermint at all. I guess it just smells very strong. Of course, peppermint leaves are used uh, to make tea, uh, herbal teas. You can also freshen your trash can with peppermint. They even have garbage bags, peppermint scent. So if you want to just buy them that way, uh, you can buy them already scented. But peppermint is widely used 
for many, many things. Well, I appreciate you stopping by. And again, in the comments, let me know and the viewers know also what you use, if you do, uh, with your peppermint oil or soap or lotions. How do you use it? And also, do you grow peppermint in your garden and around the house? Let me know in the comments and share with everyone out there. I'm so glad you stopped by and I hope to see you soon.